Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Zodiac Bandit, and before we get into today's video, I would just like to say spoilers for Campaign 3 and the Mighty Nine one-shot Echoes of the Solstice, and basically just Mighty Nine Campaign 2 in general, so yeah, spoilers. This was your last warning. Spoilers. Now that the Echoes of the Solstice one-shot for the Mighty Nine is up, the Mighty Nine are now free to sort of join into Campaign 3, and that was basically the whole holdup of them sort of entering Campaign 3. We've had Vox Machina characters show up in Campaign 3, and we did have Caleb and Bo show up earlier in Campaign 3, but that was to sort of facilitate them moving towards this one shot and to sort of reintroduce them to a bunch of people to sort of get them excited for this idea. And now here we are, after the Echoes of the Solstice one shot, we can now think about ways for the Mighty Nine to be included again into the story overall as in the one shot themselves, they mentioned how they sort of wanted to get into the fight and help sort of deal with the Solstice and whatever Ludinus still is doing. Obviously, Bo and Caleb want to get back at Ludinus and sort of deal with him. Ford made it very clear that he would be down to sort of go and fight in literally the dig site. He was literally talking about going and storming the uh, dig site or the Malleus Key in the one shot. So Ford is very much of the idea that this is something that they could do. Jester would obviously want to protect her god or even, you know, take part in whatever this is. Caduceus is the same way, and Yasha wants to protect Bo, so she would be involved in however Bo wants to be involved. And there is uh, Veth, who is out. She is no longer a uh, combatant, and I have no idea what Molly Mock or Kingsley would be doing at this point in time, as he didn't show up. So... We don't know what Kingsley is doing. I could imagine them sort of making an alliance with him and him sort of joining in the fight and bringing a bunch of pirates to the Malleus Key, which could be very beneficial for the attack if they ever choose to do so. But I sort of want to talk about a few things involving the Mighty Nine today and their usefulness going forward in the story and how they could get involved in more, you know, in more trying times that is Campaign 3. So let's get into it and talk about what I think they could all be doing as we move forward in Campaign 3. One thing I do feel is necessary to point out is sort of the timeline right now. The Mighty Nine one-shot, the Echoes of the Solstice, was the next day after the Apogee Solstice sort of started and everyone was shunted away to different parts of the world. Right now, currently in the Mighty Nine timeline, the two parties of the Bell's Hells are separated. Bell's Hells 1 is in Wild Mountain, Bell's Hells 2 is currently in Asilra. And they'll be like this for at least a week, where they'll be separated from each other. And then after that, they're going to the Shattered Teeth before this sort of party happens, or this reconvenience of Keyleth, Allura, Vilia, a handful of other people from the Grim Verity happens in the campaign with the Bell's Hells. And the Mighty Nine weren't at this War Room meeting. They're somewhere else right now. What they're doing? We don't really know. If I were to put a guess out there, they might be looking around the dig site or the Malleus Key and sort of thinking about how they can get involved. And I have many ways in which some people could be involved. Distractions or just overall in the main siege that will eventually happen. We do know that the Bell's Hells and the War Room Council that sort of met up previously in Campaign 3 are planning on having the uh, Bell's Hells sort of sneak their way into the Malleus Key going up the Red Bridge and going to the moon and scouting things out by themselves because the Bell's Hells feel both confident and expendable. But the Mighty Nine are sort of doing their own thing, and we don't quite know what that is. I think, with Vilia and Allura both claiming that they could have some sort of contact with them, that they very well could communicate with them, and they could help be part of whatever this distraction is that Percy is planning, so that the, uh, my, the Bell's Hells can sneak to the Malleus Key and get into the Red Bridge. But... I have a couple ideas about where I could place these uh, characters, the Mighty Nine, to make it sort of make more sense as to what they could be doing. First and foremost, I don't think Jester and Caduceus would be very helpful in the sort of distraction part. They could, but I think they're much more suited for a frontline sort of mentality of them being healers for the majority of the, you know, the masses. Of them sort of protecting people who are going to be part of the main distraction or the main war effort. So I could imagine them going back to either uh, Zephra or even Whitestone and healing a bunch of people up who got injured previously in the in the uh, Malleus Key assault, and that's their job. They can be healers, they can do things like that. And then, of course, we have Caleb, who I think could just be a mass destruction, whether he is during the, distra uh, the uh, distraction or whether he is doing mass destruction in the uh, actual assault on the Malleus Key when they eventually go to do that. 
he is very versatile in what he could do. And then, of course, I have Bo and Yasha. I feel like these two work together really well in a combo together as Bo can just run forward, smack, you know, at least four people a turn and potentially stun them. And then imagine a raging barbarian recklessly attacking a handful of people without too many issues of people attacking them because they're all stunned. Everyone around her is stunned, so she doesn't really have to worry about it. I think that could be a deadly combo. But I also think that Bo is going to be very integral for sneaking around and i could find a you know reason for Bo to potentially go with the bell's hells first and foremost she's incredibly strong and very powerful she's level fucking 20 and her incredible ability to sneak around by herself and you know gather information could be integral for what they need to do when they're on the moon so i can very well see Bo potentially even going up there by herself which i think would be very cool and very interesting in her own right and sort of as the Bell's Hells move around, they occasionally bump into Bo, and I think that would be really cool and really fun, much like how when they ran into her at the Malleus Key the first time, but we don't know. Again, to, to truly know what's going to happen with them, who knows. But a level 20 running around up there would give them a lot more confidence, in my opinion, the Bell's Hells, and, you know, if they fail, someone else is now gathering the information as well, which would put a lot of comfort in the Bell's Hells minds, and hopefully wouldn't make them feel as expendable, because... Now there is someone else up there, so now they know that something else is going on, so they can potentially do other things and potentially reach out to Liliana, or maybe even to potentially try to take out Odohan Thule, or do something else while they're up there other than just gather information, and with that being more important than necessarily just gathering information, because they know someone else can do that, they have now bolstered their you know, less expendableness. I didn't like them calling themselves expendable, so I very much would prefer them, you know, feel very, very important up there, and dealing with Odohan Thule would be that thing. So with Bo going up there to the uh, moon with them, I could very much see them thinking that they can now take chances and deal with Odohan Thule. I think that would be really cool. So then we have uh, Ford, who I think would be best served as part of the frontline assault. He's very much a hit people really hard sort of mentality and he can teleport around so he could put a hex on someone and then either go in really quickly and then come out really fast and do a lot of damage he can be at range and do a lot of damage ford is very versatile and i would much rather see him take place in like the overall big scale fight that will eventually happen for the uh red bridge so that the majority of the forces can get to the moon and potentially fight lewdness down the line I don't necessarily think he's got necessarily the greatest kit for helping with the distraction or helping the Bell's Hell sneak in to the Malleus Key. So there are a handful of places I could see him, and none of them are in this distraction, so I would rather see him much later on in the assault of the Malleus Key. And I think that covers everyone. Jester, Caduceus healing, Caleb being a mass destruction magnet, Bo and Yash are doing their thing, killing a bunch of people, stunning them, sneaking around potentially, and Ford being a frontline assault. Again, like I said, I don't know what Kingsley was going to be doing right now. It's really up in the air with him, what's going on with him. And obviously, Veth is off the table because she is retired and sticking with her family. So, yeah. That is what I think all of the Mighty Nine could be doing for Campaign 3. There's obviously more they could do, but this is mostly focused on, like, the Malleus Key and how they could help the Bell's Hells. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. What you think the Mighty Nine should be doing in Campaign 3. Should they even be taking part in Campaign 3? Because that was an issue I had very early on in, in this campaign with uh, the appearance of Keyleth of her being there like i had a big problem with her because she's a massive level 20 being and now there's six fucking more of them running around which is nasty and incredible but with the way that matt handled keyleth and sort of took her out of the fight and made her do her own little thing and her having to you know them having to earn her returning back to the battlefield i feel like the solstice one shot was very much of that ilk of earning the right for the bells hell or sorry the mighty nine to enter this fight so yeah, I definitely don't have many issues with them partaking anymore, especially after everything that we saw going on with Keyleth. It feels very earned for the Mighty Nine to be here now. So, I no longer have issues with level 20 characters helping out with the campaign. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. What could they be doing? If they even take part in this, what else could they be doing? What do you all think Kingsley's doing? How do you all think Veth is doing? Let me know. And uh, this week they're doing... Candelabra as Obscura, so there's no like stra there's no critical role episode this week, so it'll be uh, a random video that I put out. Likely will be the Keyleth Bow and Ladna video, the Ladna fight, 
So, yeah, look forward to that. Till then, peace.